Ever wondered how the world's largest spar platform was transported from Korea to Norway? Today, we unravel the fascinating journey of this 70,000 ton giant. Imagine a structure towering at 339 meters, nearly as tall as the Eiffel Tower, embarking on a voyage across sea and ocean. This is no ordinary voyage. We're talking about the transportation of the world's largest spar platform, a mammoth feat of engineering prowess and logistical precision. The spar platform's journey required a very special vessel, known as the Dockwise Vanguard. This isn't your typical ship. Stretching over 200 meters in length and 70 meters in width, it's essentially a floating island with an extraordinary carrying capacity of up to 123,000 tons. But here's the catch. To carry such a massive load, the Dockwise Vanguard has a unique ability. It can submerge its decks up to 27 meters underwater, creating a cradle-like structure to accommodate the colossal spar platform. This operation requires precise control, a steady hand, and an unerring eye for detail. The journey itself was a marathon. Over a span of two months, the Dockwise Vanguard, with its precious cargo, cruised at a steady 24 kilometers per hour. It traversed 16,600 miles, equivalent to more than two-thirds of the Earth's circumference, to deliver the spar platform from Korea to Norway. As the vessel approached the Norwegian coast, another precise operation unfolded. The spar platform was accommodated by filling the vessel with 11,000 gallons of water, a task that required the perfect balance of weight and buoyancy. Two months and 16,600 miles later, the spar platform reached the Norwegian coast, setting a remarkable record in transportation feats. This epic journey not only showcases the marvels of modern engineering, but also the incredible human capacity to dream big, plan meticulously, and execute flawlessly. From transportation marvels to strategic mining moves, let's jump into China's acquisition of the Sandu Iron Mine in Guinea, West Africa. But first, please take a second to like and subscribe to this channel for more pristine mega projects videos. Thanks. This monumental move marks a pivotal shift in the global mining landscape, asserting China's dominance in the mining sector. The Sandu Iron Mine, previously held by Australia, is a reservoir of immense potential and quality, making it a highly coveted resource on a global scale. China's pursuit of this valuable mine signifies more than just a business transaction. It's a strategic move, one that speaks volumes about the country's long-term vision. By securing the mining rights, China is positioning itself as a major player in the global resource distribution network, enhancing its economic resilience and influence. The operationalization of the Sandu Iron Mine, set for 2025, is a testament to China's rapid progress in the mining sector. With a total investment exceeding $200 billion, the scale of this project is truly staggering. But this venture is not just about extracting iron ore, it's about harnessing the mine's potential to fuel China's growth and fortify its position in the global economy. But the ripple effects of this move go beyond China's borders. The decision by Guinea to grant China the mining rights signals a shift in alliances and economic strategies, posing substantial implications for Australia-China relations. This seismic shift has the potential to reshape the dynamics of global resource distribution, redefining power structures and alliances in the process. China's securing of the Sandu Iron Mine's mining rights is not just a significant milestone in mining, but a strategic move that could alter the course of global economics. It's a testament to the country's foresight, ambition, and determination to secure its future in a resource-dependent world. With this strategic move, China not only strengthens its mining sector, but also reshapes the global economic landscape. As we move forward, it will be fascinating to watch how this move impacts the global mining industry, international relations, and the distribution of resources worldwide. Moving from mines to renewable energy, China is set to transform its vast deserts into a powerhouse of green energy. This is no small feat, but rather a grand scheme of epic proportions. Imagine an arid, barren desert transformed into a sprawling hub of renewable energy. This is the vision China holds for its northern territories. China's master plan is to install wind turbines and solar panels across the landscape, creating super-powered energy bases that will literally light up the country's future. These installations aren't just for show. They are set to generate a jaw-dropping amount of renewable energy, with projections suggesting they could match the entire output of Europe by the year 2030. That's right, one country producing as much renewable energy as an entire continent. But how will all this power reach the bustling cities along China's eastern shore? The answer lies in the construction of ultra-high voltage transmission lines. 
These lines are the arteries of China's green energy revolution, vital conduits that will distribute the electricity generated in the desert bases to the urban centers that need it most. This is more than just a project, it's a commitment. A commitment to green energy, to sustainability, and to the future. With billions of dollars invested in infrastructure and technology, China is proving that it's not just talking the talk, but walking the walk when it comes to renewable energy. So what does this mean for the world? It's simple. China is not just transforming its own energy landscape, but also setting the pace for the rest of the world. If China's plans come to fruition, it will be a game changer a beacon of renewable energy that other countries can look to for inspiration. China's ambitious plans could soon see it leading the green energy revolution, reshaping the world's energy landscape. This is more than just a revolution, it's a renaissance, a new era of green energy that could change the way we power our world today and tomorrow. China's ambitions don't stop at energy. The nation is also pushing the boundaries of infrastructure, with projects that are as monumental as they are innovative. China is not just about fast trains and towering skyscrapers. The country is also embarking on ambitious projects that are pushing the limits of human ingenuity and engineering. From the tallest bridge to the longest underwater tunnel, the fastest rail network, and the biggest observatory, China is leaving no stone unturned in its quest to redefine global infrastructure. Take, for instance, the construction of the world's tallest bridge. This isn't just about breaking records. It's a testament to China's commitment to improving connectivity and boosting its economy. This massive project requires cutting-edge technology and meticulous engineering to ensure stability and safety. Every bolt, every beam, every piece of concrete is a symbol of human capability and achievement. But China isn't stopping there. The country is also planning the construction of the world's longest underwater tunnel. This will not only be an engineering marvel, but will also significantly shorten travel times, making commuting more efficient and convenient for millions of people. The country's rail network is another testament to its infrastructure prowess. With the fastest trains in the world, China is revolutionizing travel and setting a new standard for speed and efficiency. And let's not forget the largest observatory in the world. This project is a clear indication of China's commitment to advancing scientific research and discovery. It's not just about looking at the stars, it's about understanding our universe and our place in it. All these projects are not just about setting records. They are about boosting China's economy, showcasing human ingenuity, and making a global impact. With every bridge built, every tunnel dug, and every train that zooms past, China is asserting its place as a global leader in infrastructure development. These audacious projects are not just about setting records. They are about boosting China's economy, showcasing human ingenuity, and making a global impact. From transporting a 70,000-ton spar platform to embarking on ambitious infrastructure projects, China continues to set new benchmarks. Let's take a moment to recap the highlights of our video. We started with the remarkable transportation feat of the world's largest spar platform. A specialized vessel called the Dockwise Vanguard was required for this monumental operation, which journeyed an extraordinary 16,600 miles from Korea to Norway. Next, we moved on to the strategic acquisition of the Sandu Iron Mine in Guinea by China. This significant move showcases China's dominance in the global mining sector, and not only signifies a milestone in mining, but also reshapes global economic landscapes, with its strategic implications on resource distribution. From there, we ventured into the heart of China's green energy revolution. The country's ambitious plans to transform the vast deserts of North China into a super-powered renewable energy hub demonstrate a significant leap in its commitment to green energy. These energy bases have the potential to generate as much renewable energy as all of Europe by the year 2030. Lastly, we delved into China's record-breaking infrastructure projects. From constructing the world's tallest bridge to the longest underwater tunnel, these audacious projects aren't just about setting records. They're significant contributors to China's economy and global influence. Each of these stories is a testament to China's prowess in pushing boundaries and setting new global standards. Whether it's in transportation, mining, renewable energy, or infrastructure, China's audacity and ingenuity are consistently on display. It's clear that China is not just collecting world records, it's reshaping our understanding of what's possible. These projects are not just feats of engineering, but also symbols of ambition and determination. As China continues to redefine what's possible, the world watches, eager to see what monumental project it will undertake next.